Hey everyone, how's it going? John here. Uh, in today's video I wanted to talk a bit about um, how changing too many things up when you're starting to learn coding and Python in particular can be very detrimental to how you get on with learning the language. So I find that for, for some people perhaps that are big starting out and trying to learn the language they tend to watch YouTube videos and they'll see someone doing one thing or someone doing something else or the new hot thing is someone's learning this or someone's learning that when what they really should be doing is focusing on learning the basics and that's really important. Now to really get on and learn the basic things the best way to do that is to really set up a nice environment for yourself that doesn't change so something nice and static something that is nice and comfortable for you and something that you keep going back to and you can pick up where you left off. You don't have to worry about uh, maybe your configuration's gone funny or maybe something's not working right. So the first thing I would say is get a latest version of Python and stick to it for a bit. Don't worry about upgrading to 3.8 right now if you're on 3.7 something. That's totally cool. Stick with 3.7. Don't worry about having to upgrade unless you really, really find something that you want to do. Okay. The second thing is make sure that you have a good text editor IDE. Whatever it is that you that you like and that you know how to use, that's absolutely fine. It doesn't have to be this or that because so and so is using that. Personally, I've been through it. I've been through and I started with Sublime. I've been through Atom various different other Linux editors and I finally started to and settled on VS Code. That doesn't mean you should do that. If you're absolutely happy using Sublime, use that. If you're happy using Atom, use that. If you're happy using Notepad++, use that. It's absolutely fine. Use what you feel comfortable with and don't be forced, don't feel forced to change around and chop around and, and pick something else just because it's the new flavor. The one thing I will say though that is VS Code is really, really easy to use and accessible. Um, you can just download it, it's free and open source. Uh, even on Windows you can get rid of the telemetry if you wanted to not be tracked. Um, and the Python um, extension is really, really good. Having said that, make sure whatever you use is set up nicely and doesn't change. Don't keep fiddling around with all of the themes and whatnot. If it, I think it's just going to distract you and get in your way. The second thing is learn how to keep a good folder structure. So make sure that you have everything separated. If you have all of your things that you're working on in just one big folder called random, like whatever name, you're going to really struggle to go back to things and pick them back up again. So make sure you have a, like a nice folder for everything that you're learning. So say you're going through a book uh, and you're doing chapter one on base or whatever it is have a folder call it chapter one and have each and every individual script related to that part of that book so you can easily go back and see that and same if you're doing a video series say if you're trying to learn flask if you're following along make sure you have a folder and call it something like flask tutorial video and whatever that is and make sure you follow it and you save it the third thing following on from that is virtual environments. Now they are really important to learn how to use um, and you'll see lots of people using them especially when they get onto things like like I just talked about learning Flask. But for all the basic things don't worry too much. Just, just make, make sure, sure you, like I said, you've got everything separated out and named well and you'll be much better off from there. The next thing is making sure the actual physical environment that you're in is conducive to learning. Perhaps maybe your studio or your desk or whatever is is in a busy place and you really can't sort of get on with it and, and get going and you get distracted a lot. Maybe consider working on a laptop somewhere else or maybe your desk at home um, is on your main computer and that's where all your games are. You might find it difficult to start your computer up and disassociate playing your games with learning Python or whatever language. So maybe again, get your laptop and go somewhere else. Go sit in a quiet room or whatever, sit in the bedroom and go from there and start learning that way. And the next thing is to not put anything else in the way of what you're trying to learn. So if you're trying to learn Python, don't put anything else in front of it. Don't try and give yourself an extra barrier before you can get to that. 
Um, it's kind of what I mean with the IDE, but more so maybe the operating system. If you're used to Windows, stick to Windows for now and then and, and learn Python. Or if you're used to Mac, stick to that. Don't swap to any, either of the other ones or Linux at the same time. Don't try and learn new technologies whilst you're trying to learn the language. You're only going to put barriers in your way and you're going to make it more difficult for yourself. It's really, it really can be quite easy to learn if you just stick to it uh, and work through everything methodically. Um, have a nice environment set up for yourself and make it easier for yourself. Don't buy And the last thing is to actually stick to a routine. Work out how much time you have spare and how much time you want to dedicate to it. And be realistic with that. Not many people can say, I'm going to sit down and learn for 12 hours today because let's be honest, realistically, it's not going to happen. And for most people, we have other jobs that we're trying to work. We have families that we're juggling. So set aside however much time you can, 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour, and dedicate that time to learning. Don't dedicate it to watching videos or um, anything else. Actually do it writing code time. So get your book out or carry on with your project and use that hour that you've got productively and don't deviate from it. Don't go and say, oh, well, I don't need to do that hour today. I'll do it tomorrow. As soon as you start doing that and putting it off, you're never going to get anywhere. Actually make force yourself to sit down and do your hour, learn what you want to do and just keep plodding along. You're never going to learn everything in all in one go or really quickly. It's going to take time. But unless you actually start now and put some actual things in place to act, to get going, you're going to be further behind than you already wanted to be. You're going to struggle more. So to summarize, don't put anything else in the way of your learning, no new technologies. Set up your environment, your IDE and your folder structure, nice and simple, how you like it. Don't chop and change for now and dedicate some time to it every day or how often, however often you can, however much time you have and stick to it and don't come off the schedule. Hopefully this has been helpful to you guys. Cheers. Bye.